Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good Saturday, good Sunday, good every day. Mulen Betuna and so excited in the Poland and Emily. Go, but I'm strange and the petal does a young when you come. You come like a betuna, windy, windy, okay? Yes, Mos, it's wealth, nothing else. Nothing, nothing but the wealth. <laughs> Hi brother. It's worth or nothing. You worth or nothing. How are you doing, man? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm fantastic. How are you? Thank you for coming through. Ah, I, I, I had to pull up. I've I been waiting for this moment. Yeah. It's so strange because now you my blood. <laughs> but there are certain things that I don't know about you. Yeah. yeah. So I felt like I uh, I want to ask you those things that I've been curious. Not not that I wouldn't ask you, but I felt like okay, maybe these are the things that I want to know in another level, you know. Okay. So, let me know if you're not comfortable with whatever that I'm going to ask. No, uh, I'm comfortable with anything you throw at me. So if you throw bombs, I'll, I'll, take, you <laughs> you'll, you'll, I'll take me later. <laughs> I'll, I'll take you later. Be like, you serial killer, you. <laughs> but yeah, I'm comfortable with anything. I'm comfortable. With. What so, makes yeah, you able? Uh what makes Unjebo it's it's a nice question. It's a very pretty question. I like that question. Ngebo is the name that I was ge- I was given by my birth uh parents and method it's the middle name. So uh it means Ngebo method MVT. The method of wealth for the MVTs. That was the initial thing. So what makes me as a person uh I'm a spirit. I'm a soul, uh-huh. uh, which is bodied in in this uh-huh. body. So, uh-huh. what makes me? It makes me a person who's more inclined with the spirit, which is my soul. Mm. That makes me. I'm still gonna go to that question because it's something that I've I've learned I've learned again. Um, with you, with the journey that I've been with you in life, of course. Okay. Um, tell me more about you, about yourself. Um, I wouldn't say my age, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old enough to be voting, driving, drinking. So I'm, I'm more of a talkative and reserved person. Mm-hmm. I like music. I'm a music person. I love music. I artistic, love music. actually. Yeah, artistically, I'm, 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 I'm given, but I'm not pursuing that in the more uh, given way. Why? Uh, I think uh, growing up, we didn't have resources and information. You know, coming from a place where Kasi it's all packed information once you go out you become afraid to to experiment with some things are you still facing that ah sometimes it does happen but now i'm i'm growing out of that cocoon okay. so yeah what makes me it, it's everything that is godly that is uh, productive that's what makes me i'm so disappointed because now you sounded you just gave me something that I didn't think it was in you because I, I, I grew up knowing you as um, a confident person, a person who can go anywhere and not being scared or cringe. And now you just told me that because of you were mostly a guy, so you, 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 get, you get to have being in doubt of <laughs> pursuing no, you. I understand that in a different manner because... You, you don't have to show a lot of people that side. It's like when you're nervous, mm. don't show people that you're nervous. Okay. So I'm always confident. I'm, I'm going to be confident, even, not, even at times that I'm not confident. But in certain aspects of trying to explore myself, mm. I wasn't that confident. Do you understand? I can relate, hey, because <laughs> I mean, most of people, they always say that I'm a confident person. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, this is what, this is how I, I always explain myself. Mm-hmm. I, there's no day that I, 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 I discovered that I'm, I'm a confident person. Yeah. But there are certain things that I've learned for people to, to look at. Mm-hmm. The color of the hair that I yeah, wear, yeah, yeah, yeah. My it, tattoo, it, yeah, it, it determines some some I, aspects I, of you. I just want to say, look at my tattoo and leave me alone. Look, yeah. look at my hand, yeah. just leave me alone. By those things, people think that I'm brave, I'm confident, but 
honestly speaking, it takes a lot for me to to be out of my shell. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it takes a lot in the sense that every time when someone sees that I'm not a confident person, I'll be like, oh, how did you see that? Because I thought I was wearing this, smart, this mask <laughs> yeah, very yeah. well, you know? Yeah. So I understand what you mean. And you always want to find that comfort zone of yours, find your corner and just be with people that you, you, you love and people that you know. Mm, true that. And you prefer to be known by them yeah, than, true that, true that. than the world. Yeah, and, um, it's, it's like that because even, even on my side, I was uh, I, I did something that I, I didn't do for the longest time. I, I dyed my hair white, all white in my so beard. Weird. I dyed it all white. That was a confident booster, but uh, some at some point it it, it fucked me up because <laughs> I would I would go like sorry to use that word yeah. vulgar yeah I would go around and forget that I have blonde, blonde hair, hair and blondie and yeah. people would be looking at me and be like what why are they looking at me <laughs> you and forgot then, I forgot <laughs> and then when I pass a mirror I'd be like ah oh. this guy. <laughs> So yeah, but it was a confidence boost. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, is a, it was so a shift. I or feel you. I feel you. Yeah. And uh, I'm learning that you're going on your fifth month now sober. You haven't touched alcohol since December, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't touched alcohol since December. I left it while it was nice. And why? Because it, it it became <laughs> as a shock to me. I was like, just in the middle of everything, when now December you decided not to drink until now. At first, I thought, ah just gonna not gonna drink maybe for a week or so uh, this one and then now it's it's the fifth month yeah it's it's a thing now it's a thing now and uh, it's going to be a thing i took a break from alcohol i took a break from alcohol in one and two reasons mm. the first reason eh, came as a warning to me came as a warning to me um I'm a I'm a believer in ancestral world, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, I was drinking constantly. I was always drinking. I always drink all the time. So December around before I broke up with my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey. Yes. So December it was around the fifth or the f- uh, the sixth around December. Yeah, if not, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what happened is that I had a dream. Mm. Yes. Um, as much as I'm a spiritual person, not per saying that I'm a spiritual person, meaning that I can succumb to every spirit mm. that I meet. No, doesn't mean that. I mean that I'm inclined to my soul. Yes, yes. I'm intact to my soul and I am focused on that soul. So each and every uh, being that is under my bloodline, they mm-hmm. can contact me through that to the soul mm. you understand so they contact me they came and they're like yo dude we see that you're a drinker now and it's, mm. it's getting out of hand you denting the the the, the connection between yeah you, you and them. You, you're starting to become ignorant you're starting to become ignorant mm. in the sense that you, you you don't see warnings anymore you don't see certain aspects of mm. life you don't you don't appreciate certain things of life the smoking will kill you it will it will kill mm. you it, it will kill you 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 might end up even not having kids because it will stop that from you oh. if you carry on at this pace the day we come again we collect you so <laughs> you know it's so crazy because it was one of the questions that i was gonna ask you because mina i've encountered twice you called me in a, in a space that you were not even aware that i was at and you would warn me and that thing it did scare the ass out of me you know uh-huh. i remember you remember when i was walking by the lake uh-huh. <laughs> and I, you were here you didn't even know my moves at that time and i think i at that time we were we were not even in contact with we, for yeah, a month for you, or for so you, for a while close to, yeah, two months or something and then yeah. you called me you were like um are you in the place like this i was like yeah where are you <laughs> you're like no i just stay for a while there because you're in a very good space where you at and just be there that thing scared me <laughs> that uh, thing scared me and then the second one it was when i was in a car uh, and then you called me warning me you even described the car i was at uh, such things like how do you take it seriously how do you know that now you have to respect because i think somewhere somehow 
not everybody believes in such things. When do you know if you have to approach someone and warn them or whatever that you see at that time? Do you choose people that you can share what you see or you just do what you, you sorry, your, your, peop, your, your ancestors are telling you to, 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 are telling you to do? Okay, let, let's clarify something. Um, being me as a spiritual person, mm. being me as a person who's inclined to their soul, mm. anyone can be inclined to their soul. It's how you respect it and how you conduct it to the people. Because in the aspect of every being, there's that soul part of you, that consciousness that speaks to you. So some people ignore that. Mm. Some people try to uh, mask it, like mask it, mm. you understand? Mm. Try to shape it and mask it and mm. hide it, okay. you understand? Some people put it out there and then it's not theirs to be. Like most people have went to initiation schools, like going to Tuasa, yeah, yeah, Sangomas, yeah. but they were not meant to be tossing. They were meant to be healed, do you understand? So I will tell you in this form because you, you experienced this mm. via me. Um, in a situation like if you're in a different place, mm. which is not good to you, I will get a similar uh, projection of that place. And in my mind, it is you. Okay. But on my side. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Does to it you? happen when you're sleeping or when you're just sitting? Uh, or like, I just want to know, because other people, they say they see this thing, these things through when they're sleeping, through their sleep, uh, others just when they sit at or with you, how does it happen? It's, an, it's a very nice question because I want, I want to explain something. There's this thing called astral projection. Astral projection, it's when you have an outer body experience. Do you understand? It can happen while you are still you are you are asleep. Uh, whether you're conscious or not, it can happen while you are asleep mm. and have an outer body experience. So most people tend to grab information at that time. Okay. Because most people tend to learn at that time, mm. at their sleeping moments. And then there's people who have mastered that ability or it's their God given birth right mm. that they could see certain things like if an event is happening this side, mm. it's gonna project this side similarly. Mm. But in his mind, it is you. You are not there. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. If he sees this thing, if he sees a some, someone getting hit by a car, mm. but he's, he's in his mind, he's thinking, no, Mr. D just got hit by a car and then he starts looking his no, it's not Mr. D. Oh. Immediately you should call that person and be like, hey, uh, are you good? Are you in a place? Are you in a nice place? Because that event happened while you were thinking about that person. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I, I am, but now remember, not so everybody, me, not everybody yes. believes in that. Have you ever been in a situation where you try to warn someone and then maybe they, they, they will just throw you off in a sense that I don't believe in that. Don't, don't tell me that. I'm not interested in, in all of that. In, in every aspect of uh, talking to someone, you have a feeling of telling them and, or not telling okay. them. There's certain things, even conversations you don't want to have because you can sense that thing that it's going to be awkward very quickly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you understand? Yeah. So in terms of warning people, I don't do that. Okay. So now you know that we're coming from a spiritual family okay. where we grew up going to church because yeah, yeah. our parents were uh, people who believe in going to church yeah, yeah, and yeah, we know yeah. those they are active people living at church and all that well preaching yeah. they 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 sing very well in a sense that when they are there their presence are felt, are felt. and to tell you the honest truth mm -hmm. I remember you going to church when we were young. Mm, mm, I've mm. never seen you at church or hear you say you're going to church. <laughs> Why are you no longer going to church? Um, in, the, in the aspect of, uh, of a church, I, I think my father groomed me in a manner that he told me that everywhere it's church for you. Mm. Everywhere it's church for you. So church is not a building kind it's of. It's not way. a building. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a confined space for for you. 
okay. everywhere you with God. So speak to your God like your friend. Mm. Daily speak to him like you speak to yourself. Because mm. once you start speaking to yourself in a manner that projects to the heart, from mm-hmm. the heart it goes straight to the soul. The soul takes the message straight to the source of it. Yeah, yeah. So my father he gave me the thoughts the like the, the the teachings of wherever you are uh-huh. you are a church you can be a church and each and every time when you speak about your your you and god i don't like using that word mm. by the way but yeah, yeah. i'm using it right now yeah because you're talking about your god yeah you are allowed because yeah. you're talking about the god that you know yeah but yeah. the god that is great have created me and my ancestral line that god is always there and will approach me with people i know huh. it will always approach me with a similar face that i've noticed but i don't know who where this person is mm. coming from mm. so everywhere you go you you always have a church in i'm sorry you know i am laughing because i'm talking <laughs> about a church and i remember the last encounter we were at church it was me you and my aunt your mom yeah 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 and i remember when because she was the one who, who kept on pushing so that the church can go on yeah and yeah, 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 yeah singing and the one uh, uh preaching, preaching and, then, and singing and then there's that side the... look she looked at you that forced you to stand up and yeah, sing. yeah yeah and yeah. how did you <laughs> She gave you that side of saying, "I've been singing alone, bro. Do it, you know." And when she looked at me, I just looked away and acted like I was doing something because I wasn't keen to sing. And how did that make you feel? Where uh, our parent still have that thing, that power of thinking that she can still tell us what to do at church, even though we're no longer going to church. Uh, I, I think it's a, it's a, it's a parent thing. It's a. They become your parent until they die, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will always give you that command, even if they don't tell you, hey, mm. okay, it's your turn now. How did, how did you feel about it? <laughs> I, I felt like she needed my help. Okay. I felt like she needed my help at some point. I like that. I, um, it, was, it, was, it wasn't nice. It wasn't nice because it's no longer me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I grew up in the church, was singing, yeah, doing yeah. everything, mm-hmm. yeah. But... Uh, I felt like you know what she she needs rescuing. You know? Yeah, so you were just you were just rescuing her. Yeah, because she gave she me. Felt, uh, uh, yeah, she gave me that thing with because she has a song. She she hasn't sang that song until she says the day I go to the to church yeah, with yeah. her. Yeah, she would sing that like, song. Yeah, it don't don't like, she yeah. said she would sing that song. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I know. I so she has a song each and every time when I'm with a presence of church with mm. her. Mm. She gives me that look, which give me that chance yeah. so I could put my song in. Yeah. You understand? And that song is Masambi Nyanawam, Masambi Nyanawam. So it says Masambi Sitawe Nyanawam. You understand? Chongo baba shiba mna nendi yamsi yaku mkonzi yao vuti. Yes, it's like that. So it literally means that it it it's it says golden it is it. Me and my house will praise the Lord until mm. the the end of days. Yes. So each and every time when I'm with her at the church space place, she always gives me that day. It's your turn now. It's your turn. <laughs> It's your turn now. What's your aspiration? My aspiration is, I would I would say I like learning new things. Knowledge. Knowledge is very key, and knowledge is power when you use it. Okay. Each and every time when you use that power. It's knowledge to you. So knowledge is power. Knowledge is power when With you use it. When you use that knowledge, it's power. It's more it's like very using powerful. Power. It's like having a sword. You have that sword. We know it's a it's, it's a Escalibur. Yeah. You call it names, but if it stays framed, it gets okay. rusty. You don't use that power. So knowledge is power till you use it. I so I, I I like I like learning uh, even if it's a little thing like when you cut your onions you mm. should stick your tongue out yeah, so your you eyes because you, <laughs> you, know, you know you remember I used to complain a lot yeah, you like know, yo I'm crying because yeah, you know I, I, you know we have eye problems yeah like, yeah yeah we I'm do visually have challenged <laughs> so you the one who taught me that when I'm chopping onion I need to stick my tongue out yeah and just I said, a little why? 
Mm. I said, why? You said, because of that concentration, instead of going to your eyes, it will literally focus on the tongue. Yes. Because the, the onion, once you slice it, mm. it has sensible, sensible particles. Mm. So they go to the most sensible yes. place. So your tongue is always moist mm. and sensible. So when you stick your tongue out a little, it, it keeps that sensitivity, Nyana. Not to your I, eyes. I still use that technique even today. <laughs> Trust me. Trust so, me. So yeah, I like learning even petty little things. I like I like learning that. And the visual part thing, I learned that it's because we see a lot of things in the dark. That <laughs> then in the light. <laughs> <laughs> then in the light. That's why we, we are visually impaired. Oh, okay. Do you believe <laughs> so, in love? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's a that's a question. Hey, <laughs> my God my creator no love is everything man mm -hmm. but love depends on who you pour it to mm -hmm. i do believe in love i i'm a i'm a most loving creature ever mm -hmm. yeah if i love you i love you wholehearted okay yeah i do believe in love <sighs> do you believe that love is pandemic nowadays is it because there's this trend love is pandemic as much as you believe in love do you still see as other people see love as pandemic? Or do you believe that it's always unfortunate with the person that you meet at that time, but that love does exist? Um, it, it, you, you, you put it in a very nice way. It's unfortunate when you meet someone that you love at that time and they don't love you they back don't love the you way back. you want them to love yes. you. Yes, because love does exist. It's a, it's a, it's a only bad, the only bad thing that we have right now is that it's been conditioned. Mm. It's been altered to certain degrees of love. You understand? Mm. If you don't do this, if you don't provide, if you don't do that, if you don't love me like this, everyone wants to be loved in a certain way. Everyone wants to be um, appreciated in a certain manner. Mm. So it's, it's no longer a give, give. Because now with me, I, I always say that I don't want to put that on only on Gutando, but I'm that person who believes that you teach people how you want to be treated. Yeah. But it only works when you open as well True. to True. to treat people how they want to be treated. Yeah. Not only about you, 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 you. Yeah. It only works. You teach them how you want to be treated if you're learning to, 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 to treat them the way they want to be treated. And if it's not aligned with what you believe in mm -hmm. you have to learn to let go yeah that's true i honestly believe that because each and every time when you teach someone something mm -mm. uh you you expect them to grasp it and then teach you something yeah because in this lifetime we we are here for a moment or even if it's a second mm -hmm. so each and every lesson that we exchange within each mm -hmm. other it shows love mm -hmm. you understand so every time when you meet someone who's on your mutual ground, you should always preach the first thing that comes to your mind and be like, yes, I understand this type of view. Mm. Show me your love so I could show, me your my, show you my love. And then what happens to those people who believe that um, they say love is re reciproca re reciprocated. reciprocated. Yes. But now... Most of people have, have learned that they love you expecting something in, in return. Do you still call that love or you call that an exchange? Because me, I believe that if I love you, I shouldn't expect anything in return because my definition of me sticking around, it's not how you love me, but how I feel mm -hmm. when I think about you. Mm -hmm. It's how I feel when i'm with you mm. and then whatever that i do for you it's out of love it makes me fulfilled mm. not how you gonna think, think about, about it or yeah, yeah. keep you mm -hmm. in a manner no i get it i i get that i get that but since love so it's so conditional these days everyone has expectations upon love so if you, you condition it in effect that I love you and then why are you not loving me back? It's mm. because of you, 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 you have your own expectations of love mm. and that person doesn't perceive that. Do you understand? Mm. So that's why all the time it always become a pandemic.
Because each and every time when you try to put an aspect of, I love you this much. Mm. Why aren't you? And then I have to say, I love you extra. Yeah. It should come up with an interest. Because when you have expectations, because there's certain people who, who are like, if I love you, I, I want to see you every day. <laughs> if I love you, you I must... Because you don't have life when yeah, you, your life yeah, revolves like you, around there. Yeah. If I love you, I must always be with you. I must mm. touch you. I must... Mm. There's those people who, who condition their love in that certain manner. That works for them. That works for them. But do you consider that other person if it works for them or not? Yes. You must consider... Because that person, you say, I want to see you every day. Like, ah! Ah, this ah, this one ah, yeah, no. suffocate. ah yeah, suffocate. Yeah. suffocating. suffocating. Yeah, yeah. Because that person is not giving you a chance to love. Mm. To, for them, like to love you back. Yes, yes. Because now you know, you know. That so I understand. The, I understand the, the the concept of do you believe in love? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah I understand. Because now that. remember, oh, 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 um, uh, Steve Harvey once said, "Do not respond." In a heat of a moment. Because mm. they're not talking to you. They're talking to a moment. Yeah. Why I'm saying this, most of people, they would tell you that, Slinila, I love you. And now you're expecting me to, to say it back, but you're the one who's co- who is in a moment. Yeah. And I'm not there. Yeah. I heard you. Yes. But don't expect me to say it back because you are the one who's in a moment. Exactly. But now it, it causes... If I to go to ah, I just told you good thing. Ah, you are most man. You too late. You are in a moment. I acknowledge, yeah. but I'm not in a moment at that moment with you. With you, and then their expectation is expecting expectation. you to say I love you back. Expectations. I hear yeah, you. Well, they love you with expectations and conditions. So I know because Kulele Kasi and the other people that you grew up with who are now. Uh, have been abducted by Inyaube. Yeah, and now I want yeah, to know yeah, how yeah. do you feel and how do you behave when you bump into those people that they were very close to you, people that you grew up with, and now obviously you are living in different worlds. Uh, how do you conduct yourself around them and how do you feel, Jay, in person? Yeah, ish, that that thing is a it's a, it's a it's a it's a disease and it's growing in a, in a sense of that it's un, understandable. Mm. At some point, I I used to question which type of book did I read or which type of thing did I take or eat in my lifetime to not fall under that trap. Mm. Uh, I once questioned uh, one of the guys who I went to school with. Mm last last year mm. yeah I, I met him this guy was perfectly fine mm. and then i say him hi boo what's going on my guy mm. and he's like no my guy uh, certain things are not working mm. so the only way that i could find peace is only smoking mm. you understand mm. coping mechanism coping for them. mechanism temporal it's, one yeah it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a thing it's, it gives them a reason to wake up next day because they are suicidal, <sighs> those people, mm. to tell you the truth. I grew up, I, I, Ekas, Ekas, it's full of them. And yeah. you, you never noticed because they are zombies. Those people are suicidal. You know, you know, saying that like they are zombies and everything. Please, guys, please don't come for me. And I'm not saying this out of, in a, in a malicious way or, mm. I'm, I think it's coming from, at least when I met on Mm. You know, I've been out of Ekasi for a, for a long time. I think it's time, been yeah. ten over. It's ten years it's this year. Ten years year. now, yeah. Yo, there's this feeling when I get Ekasi. I feel so heavy. Ekasi, it's so ashy. It's 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 <laughs> that thing now when I get Ekasi from a corner. <laughs> if I always carried cash around me, I would have. Maybe given people if 5k because the moment they see you <laughs> and I'm like, eh, sister, I'm trying a piano. Eh. It, 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 it weighs something in me. Like I I even cry sometimes. Sometimes that is why sometimes I don't even yeah, like going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it, I say it's hi, different. Mom, yeah. it, it's ashy, man. And I, then you see this you look like they look like they are walking zombies. Yeah, they are zombies. They are zombies. And the thing is, I think that the, the, the aspect of that part of Ikasi is, is, is a reminder to you that I, I need mm-hmm. to move out. I need to have a better space in my life. Mm-hmm. You understand? 
So each and every time when you go to a hood, that's why you find guys with BMWs cruising around the hood. It's a reminder to them to not to not to never come back here again. You understand? Mm-hmm. <laughs> is everywhere they they are like that. Mm. Go to Tembisa, go to where there's there are people from that castle who are like, ah, cast is ashy, cast is what? Mm. Do you do you get me? Because that that circum that circumstances there that those circumstances there are built for them to not survive for a long time. And then, what makes Abantu Mabepo Pabepu make us? In your perspective. In my perspective, it's. It, the air you breathe brings the the, the the type of feeling you want. When I say that, I mean I mean it in the most um, literal way. Um, if you chill with gangsters, you start having gangster talk. Mm. You start having uh, uh, g- g- killing talks. You start having those type of things. Depressed, but depressed as well. Yeah, even if even if you don't go out there with them. But for the mere fact that you chill with them, mm. you have that interaction, which I know gangsters. Mm. I know this. Mm. So if you chill in a hood where it's prescribed for for you to succeed, mm. eventually you, you will find and meet people mm. who will make you succeed in that journey. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So moving out of Ikas, it's not a bad thing. Mm. It's not a bad thing. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's an upgrade. But now they always say, how will gas lay to if you guys instead of bringing whatever that you have like us why nipum how do you think the castle to lizoba lizo prosper do you think is it wrong though cuz we are always blamed the moment to make us ukuthi ngicabanga ukuthi ikhazi lizo thuthuka kanjani nina any pop ayo ningabuye nizoba a great example and nibe yini nithuthuka isikhazi nthathi imali new investor elsewhere Remember something about Ikas, everyone is always hungry there. Mm. Even the, 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 the most, the most uh, popping guy who, who's at Ikas is hungry. Mm. So if you get something little, it's for you mm. at that moment. Yeah. Most people don't understand that certain things are for you. Certain things are for Ikas. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So moving, moving out of Ikas, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have made it in life. Mm. It means that you're still pandering. Yeah. But now the situation there, it's not the same. Yeah, just for you to grow. Just to so, add on that, you remember the time I was drinking a lot, lot, lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was swimming <laughs> in alcohol. Ulindo <laughs> once said, This is not you. Yeah. First and foremost, you don't belong here. And now you're starting to act like people like, are balana. Is it because they are hungry? And then he said, he said to me, Go find yourself. This is not for you, and when you don't belong like us. Mm. But now you tag, you are tagged along with these people, Abalala, Abalan. And when I went, when I left Ekas, you know what you learn? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It makes you understand that you think you think that you made it. No. You ain't shit, bro. No. And then now, when you are with big big dogs, now it makes you to wake up every day and. Ubana that chisegelo the drive of doing better. But when you say kasi, nge ten k, uinja ya se kasi nge ten k. Polo nyana you paying three thousand two point five, and then you can buy a bottle of chemisin every week. You've made it. You've made it. But when you go out there, there's more to life. Yeah, yeah. There's so much more to life in a sense. I'm not saying we should forget where we were we we, we, are we come from, from. We come from. Yeah. But for me we, we should you should never forget where you come from. You should never forget where you but come mostly, from. But mostly when you, they see us they never. say No, that, 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 that judgment is always mm-hmm. there. If, mm-hmm. Even for us, it's always there. But it's scary because even now, me, I grew up a cast. Yeah, I, I'm most humble a cast. I'm, I'm most. Uh, yeah. I respect everyone equally. Mm, that was but, my next question. Yeah, by the way. each and every time when someone will be like, "Oh, Donna, where you? Where do you work now? Mm. Put me in." Uh, well, it's another thing. I understand. I mean, like, I mean, I'm in a contract like you, my You're guy. staying a corner. And you now. Look. No, you besides understand? that, there's this thing. I mean, Baseka, see, they stay in a corner when you pass, like, I'm Zam and I'm in faith. You see, and they, like, in most aspect in, 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 in Ikasi, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm for Ikasi. Yeah. Forever die. 
song you understand song everyone okay. i'm for ikasi but in certain things that i think it's a programmed thing or it's a mm. temendic that mm. every kasi has mm. it has that thing that if someone looks better maybe let's try to suck 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 something some, out of they, they were more like they putting some bad omen in you that you become discouraged exactly uh. so that's why they will always ask you to run they yeah. always ask you for five rand they always ask you for 10 rand and we have we have rand and to spanela you understand <laughs> now we so spanela born the spanela community you working for them nah come on <laughs> yeah. so <laughs> so in every aspect a cast even the people who who, who have nice cars a cast mm. they still around the cast but mm. they don't want that treatment because it's always there people they are always hungry even now I'm, No me. Now I'm you're hungry. hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so please, when you look at me, I'm hungry as you. Yeah, yeah, man. It's just that uh And then now cuz I know you are uh, spiritually gifted. I don't want to okay. say inclined, but you are spiritually gifted and you are a modern person. Yeah. And uh, you are young. Okay. How do you balance ngoba ungumuntu omqhuba? I yes, don't, I don't, yes, you are the person yes. of soy. Yes, yes. And you are more than at the same time. How do you balance that and what keeps you humble? Um in the most uh way that I could explain it is this. Mm. Being a a spiritual gifted person mm. you don't have to uh, you don't have to try to outshine everyone. Okay. That's the first thing that you should, you should learn as a spiritual person because you always seek mm. you always seek about people's thoughts mm. you always seek about people's behavior you always you're very sensitive to certain things mm. don't advertise that mm. it it teaches you how to heal mm. you get sick before you heal mm. so if you have a headache i must have a headache mm. for me to understand what type of headache do you have, have. Mm. Do you understand? If you are you, you you are about to feel a pain on your leg, I must have that certain feeling because mm. I spoke about something that it's called astral projection. Mm. Being a spiritual person, it's being that line which is easy to communicate through your ancestors. Okay. So these days because you say I'm I'm a more spiritual mm. person which means I'm a old soul. Mm. and in the modern world mm. in this modern world they try to put it out there as an advertisement mm. that thing is sacred thank you that thing is sacred that thing as much as now they put it on social platforms that they would even mention the mutis that they use which yeah. we grew up not mm. knowing anything about those things you were not even told what to mix and they give you while it's mixed because of it's a sacred thing it's a sacred thing thank you the healing process of that thing it's very sacred you should respect it as much as like any like you respect it as much as you, you respect the creator because mm. without that thing you wouldn't close your hand mm. that's how sacred it is so i treat it as like that mm. i, like I treat that. it as like that and i maneuver in my space of time because mm. in my space of time i'm still young and mm. i tell me now when i go to my passing side i mm. tell them i'm young mm. don't burden me yeah with problems that, they, that <laughs> you didn't solve now i must solve and i was about to ask you guti because you're you are that spiritual person which i believe where you have to zeal and yeah where you just have to cut off everything do they come to you and say now we don't want you to To, to have sex there are certain food now you shouldn't eat there are certain things that you shouldn't be exposed to because now we are in a journey of doing this and this mm. or you would know do they do, do do they come in in a form of voices or you would know or maybe you you, you don't get honey when it's that time no you, you get hella honey <laughs> <laughs> Here okay. you get crazy honey okay. and as go like every 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 opportunity of sex might come through but I've learned something about the thing called fasting. Mm. Fasting doesn't mean that you you fast on food. It's fasting on things that you love. <gasps> that's Mara. proper that's a proper definition Mara of fasting. UK, Mama, let me tell you something ah. about this. Fasting the body tells you mm. firstly 
Mm. But nah, take it chill now. Mm. You understand? And then if the body is like, nah, eh, you're not listening, it goes to their heart and be like, hey, eh, talk to this person. Mm. And then you start feeling sick, eh, mm. and then, then, then. And then the heart is like, hey, maybe the, the computer up there is, might say something. Mm. And then the computer goes to the computer and then the computer gives you that subconscious thing that it's time for you to fast. Okay. Which means you should cut off everything. That's when gay, some people, they include not eating, not having sex for you. So period. it's just a matter of self-awareness. Self-awareness. Because mm. that thing, each, each and every time when you do uh, a certain um, zilling, a certain fasting, mm. a certain thing, mm. It's, it's, it's not necessary for you to do it all at once. Mm. Do you understand? Start with the thing that you love. You're like, you know what? For seven days, I'm not having sex. Yeah, yeah. And then after two months, you're like, you know what? Uh, for, for two months, I'm not, uh, not going to eat meat. Okay. Then you go like, okay, for this type of time, I'm not going to do that. Mm. You understand? Mm. You condition yourself. Because each and every time when you do that, you, you, you become better yourself. That's true. Yeah, Do you think Ubuntu still exists as it exists? How so? Ubuntu always existed. It's the principle of practicing that it doesn't. Okay. Love it. <laughs> Love the angle. Yes. <laughs> Ubuntu exists in every way. It's just that now we we are experiencing experiencing so much crime and so much uh, hate and Betrayal. This betrayal that we, we we no longer believe you when you're trying to be friendly or you no longer believe when you're trying to help out. I'll ask you. We'll be like, hey, yeah, what do you want? Yeah, yeah, what's yeah. what's your problem? Yeah. You've been searching. <laughs> you <need to> <laughs> you be, you've been stalking. So yeah. Ubuntu has been there. The principle of us practicing it is because of we we took away that thing that uh, your child can be raised by your community. Mm. So okay. after that, now everyone minds their own business mm. now. Mm. We have butlers now, we have dogs. Mm. And Just I hate it. cleaning up the, after dogs, you see. Mm. Now, but I have to have a dog. Mm. But I know who's going to steal and I'm going to come to you. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> Ubuntu is there because we always know who stole for you. <laughs> we, we always, as black people, you, you will find out with some who and who. <laughs> They came through yeah. and they, they and took the their things. About they what? turn each, on each other. When the moment someone does something, oh, forget. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you I always because mm. I, I remember my 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 nephew mm. Ulna Mandla, they mm. stole his his phone mm. yeah or something that something happened mm. uh, we, we found out yeah and then uh, my friends mm. they stole his phone mm. so from a gas did Imagine it. Sesh did it <laughs> and yeah. he didn't know what he we kind of related know, yeah, and, yeah. and i had to go there and be like my guy you know you do this to me because yeah, if you're doing it to my kid you, you're doing, you are doing it, to it to me my god i, I understand you. I hear you. so yeah ubuntu is there it exists it's the principle of practicing, practicing it. it but it's lala na so so to us how true is that it was the intersect we're not traveling about this word it doesn't work anymore because of is it is it because maybe we are we are in this incubator yeah is it the reason that we are intersecting are we ignorant are we into this thing you're going to better the devil that you know what is it the concept of this whole thing uh. <laughs> Hey, in the hood, yes. In the when you come, when you come to dating in the hood, it's it's quite it's quite it's quite different. It's quite difficult. You know why? Why? Because if you we stay in the same hood, mm. you like me, I like you. Mm. If I date you, D there, 
He's been like, oh, if he can date this one, he's also gonna date me. That's how the whole Slalana song came in the Or home. it's this thing of betting you and D saying, which is a one who to Uzo Konya Obani Kala. May the best D queen. Hmm. So it, has, it, it, it will always happen because. <laughs> People, people are hungry, man, <laughs> and they always look for something else. Like, let's say I date a beautiful chick, because who's the, who's the beautiful chick right now? Ah, let me stop! Not, don't let mention, me talk about names. Don't drop. Don't let me drop. drop no, let me not drop name, names. No name dropping, I date, please. I date a beautiful girl, ne? Yeah. Because of there's some certain someone who doesn't like me. Yeah, they he go. always saw me as a, as beneath him. Mm. They will feel like you know what? I can take that girl out of him. Mm, yeah, well, yeah, I can I can share that, that girl and that girl could be mine. Yeah. yeah. yeah so that Paula Lea and the I think most girls at our hood they are not they haven't mastered. On. They are moving around. <laughs> uh, but there's a movement. <laughs> what is important, there's a movement. So, right. <laughs> so yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just, so I don't like dating a cast anymore because yeah, yeah. yeah. you learn the hard way. And then in closing, uh huh. What do you want to be remembered for? I want to be remembered as a person who's more humble mm. and uh, calm in every aspect of spirituality. Mm. Uh, I want to know, uh, I, want, I want to be remembered as a person who's, who's, who's cultured, mm. very cultured. Mm. And... Uh, I challenge myself to know more about culture because mm. it stems me. It makes me as a person. They say it's if you know yourself, you know your best God. Because mm. knowing you, it's the most nicest version of God that you could know. And you can manipulate each and every situation. Mm. So by knowing each and every aspect of me and my culture mm. makes me want to know more about God. Who's with me? Who's always with me? So I want to be remembered as that guy who's humble, has a piece of information if you mm. you'd like some. Uh, I like I like a good laugh like everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I want to be remembered as a guy who's who's outspoken when it needs to be, who's quiet when it needs to be. Look, I'm smiling. Like, <laughs> you know why I'm smiling? Yeah. That expression, it reminds me of your father. It's so funny. Yeah. What you just yeah, did yeah. now, <laughs> that's your father in you, man. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, so, yeah, man. Thank you. You become so a man much. once your dad dies. <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank this opportunity. You. I know yeah. sometimes I know you in a in a personal a personal level, but at this point I didn't feel that at all. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you are you. amazing. Thank you. Um in closing, I wanna say guys, subscribe, please like, comment in my channel. And please, guys, this studio it's called Equanaba. Equanaba Studio, it's in Cresta at Visual Med Office Park. If you wanna rent it, it's 700 per hour. Come through, come through, guys. It was nice to be here. It's always nice to be here. Just watch more. We unscramble life with sleep. Amako, dipumile. Yanko!